Horses are coming onto the track for the fifth race at the Illinois State Fair. The review stake for two-year-old trotting fillies. No scratches, no driver changes. Over 40 grand up for grabs. Post time is just seven minutes away. Let's meet the starters. Number one, Pan on Ceremony, owned by Peter Pan Stables Incorporated, Pepper Pike, Ohio. Ivan Sugg trains. Tony Morgan will drive. The 1A is in Pantation, owned by Peter Pan Stables, trained also by Ivan Sugg. The driver will be Andy Miller. Number two, Always Victorious, owned by Ala Nuova Sabara Stable of Pompano Beach, Florida, trained by Mario Zwinetti, and he is in the bike. Couple in the wagering with that one will be the 2A Andrea Hall, owned by the same stable, trained also by Zwanetti. Dale Heitman will drive. Three is Malamoni, owned by Bill Wright of Morton, Illinois, Dirk Simpson of Sherman, Jeffrey Langfelder, and Mystical Marker Farm of Chicago Heights, Illinois, trained by Dirk Simpson, the driver Dave McGee. Four, Lady Luck Hanover, owned by David Scharf, Baldor Farms, Jerry Silva, and Samson Street Stables of New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania, trained by Ron Gerfine, the driver Mike Lachance. Five is Cartier Hall, owned by Joseph Mendelson of Santa Barbara, California. Doug Ackerman trains D.R. Ackerman Drive. Six is India Hall, owned by Bob and Gail Sanders of Manuka and Don Jennings of Morris, Illinois, trained by Bob Sanders, Randy Jacobs in the bike. Seven, Spice on Ice, owned by Scuderia Gardasena of Italy, trained by John Johnson with Bert Lindstedt driving. Eight is Norway, but my way, owned by Stein Soli, Joe Sirocco, and Per Arne Clausen of Florida, Ohio, and Norway, trained by Arlen Egan, who is also the driver. Blazing Image is owned by Robert Ac uh, Waxman of Ancaster, Ontario, trained and driven by John Johnson, that being number nine. And number 10 is Darlene, owned by Darlene McNulty of Lamont, Illinois, trained and driven by Mark O'Mara. Post the first automatic drip coffee maker for the home. And Bob Glazer is now the sole member of the stable. The stable name, Peter Pan Stable, according to Bob's mother, comes from the fact that she jokingly considers her son a big kid who doesn't want to grow up. And she says that with affection. And that stable has been the leading money-winning stable in the country for the last six years. Right now, they're at the post. Here they come for race five. Andrea Hall, off stride. The rest are off and trotting. Norway but my way for the lead, along with Spice on Ice. Also, always victorious, Cartier Hall, right there between horses. Malamoni moves up down to the inside, heading on to the first turn. Malamoni gets the lead by a length. Cartier Hall is gunning for the lead on the outside. Lady Luck Hanover, third toward the rail. Spice on Ice caught three wide around the first turn. And the first three fillies are in a line, stride for stride at the quarter mile mark. What a beautiful sight of two-year-old trotters off the opening quarter in 28 and one-fifth seconds. Cartier Hall gets the lead now from Malamoni. Spice on Ice backs away in third. Lady Luck Hanover just made a break. Trotting down the backside, always victorious, settles toward the inside in fourth. Pan on Ceremony is racing in fifth as they approach the half. Norway But My Way is sixth toward the inside. Then India Hall, blazing image, followed by Impantation. Darlene just made a break. Lady Luck Hanover far back. Andrea Hall trail. She made a break early. The half in 58 and one. Cartier Hall, the unbeaten freshman trotting filly, leads it by just over a length, heading past the draw gate. Malamoni goes second. Then Spice on Ice is third. And Pan on Ceremony is moving up on the outside now into fourth, three lengths off the lead. India Hall is behind her. They're followed by Always Victorious down to the inside of Norway, but my way. But Cartier Hall leads them by the three-quarter mile mark. 
She's on top by a length and a half. The three quarters reach in a time of 129 and three. Cartier Hall leading Pan on Ceremony, who's second on the outside. Moving up the turn, Malamoni third down toward the rail. India Hall swings wide from fourth. They're racing by the eighth pole. Cartier Hall looking to keep her string intact. Opens up here by two. Malamoni second, then Pan on Ceremony, India Hall from far back in Pantation is coming late. Coming to the line, Cartier Hall is going to win it by three. Malamoni was second, a fast closing in Pantation came from way out of it to be third in 158 flat. Doug? Moving in right now is the unofficial winner of the fifth race, the review stake for two-year-old trotting filly. She's unbeaten eight for eight lifetime. Cartier Hall, D.R. Ackerman, the winning driver. Joseph Mendelson of Santa Barbara, California, owns this Walnut Hall limited bred performer, bred in partnership with others. Garland Lobel is the sire. Junior Wickman is going to get the caretaker's medallion. John Cisna, the Review Association president, is making that presentation. Making the trophy presentation to the winning connections is Illinois native Jim Berry, who hailed originally from Alito, lives now in the Denver, Colorado area. And he's been in this winner's circle before as a harness horse owner, trainer, driver. He once won an Illinois State Fair championship with Super Russ right here. Right now, D.R. Ackerman is conferring with brother-in-law Homer Hochstetler. D.R., come on over here a moment. Homer's going to take care of this filly while we talk to D.R. Ackerman. Unbeaten filly, D.R., you and your father have raced some top trotters over the years. Where does this two-year-old filly, Cartier Hall, rank so far on your list? Well, uh, amongst the fillies that we've had with uh, no disrespect to the other ones, uh, she's probably the best now. So. Is she headed for the Breeders' Crown this fall? Uh, she's eligible, yes. And a uh, good shot she might be there if this keeps up? Well, this keeps up, yeah, it's a long ways in the future here, so we're kind of just taking it one step at a time, but that's a possibility. That's true. Anything is possible in this business, but right now she's got a brilliant record, eight for eight, to you and your father in the whole stable. Mr. Mendelson, congratulations. Thank you, sir. D.R. Ackerman, our winning driver here for the review stake for two-year-old trotting fillies. The rundown is next. <laughs> 